Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a basic turret in Roblox and stuff. There's a little gun turret, as you guys can see, you got it right here and stuff. So let's get straight into it. So first things first, of course, you know, I have, I made a turret. i just made this, this is simply just two parts. Named one stand, named the other barrel. Now, obviously barrel is going to be, you know, where the bullets come from, right? And then, you know, I got the stand and the barrel on top. And these are just regular parts. Of course, make sure they're anchored. And that's really it for that part. Then, of course, you're going to need a, you're gonna need to make a bullet. So, you know, bullet to come out of the turret. So if I open server storage and I bring it here, I'll show you guys the bullet I made. So simply just a part. Um, Don't anchor it. Uh, and I just made a neon and really red. And yeah. And then just name it bullet and put it in server storage. And boom, we can go ahead and get into the scripting. It's honestly very simple. It's similar to the way you would uh, shoot a gun. You would make a script for a player shooting a gun, but honestly, not as much work. Let's get straight to it. Let's insert a server script into a uh, turret. Or you could put it in barrel. Yeah, you could really put it in. Yeah, let's put it in barrel, actually. Right. <clears throat> and let's name this turret script. Right. We're going to delete, print hello world. I'm going to zoom in a little, right? Then we're going to make about, I want to say like five, maybe six variables. <clears throat> and I'm going to explain each variable. First up, we have rate. So rate, or you guys could call it fire rate, but I'm just call it rate. So this is the rate at which the gun fires at, right? Now, just to make it clear, <clears throat> all the values for the variables, you guys can really play around with the numbers and see whatever you see what you like. Maybe you want the value to be higher or lower. It's completely up to you. You play around with the value and see what you like at the end of the day. For me, however, I'm just going to set it to 0 0.5. I would recommend um, setting the values to the same values I set it to and then playing around with it and seeing how it, how it turns out and see if you like it or not. So first thing first, we have the fire rate, right? Then we got bullet damage, local bullet damage is equal to then we're going to say 10 so pretty much every time a bullet hits a player how much damage do you want the bullet to do right or if you want it to be um an auto kill you could instead of damaging the player you could just should up set the player's health to zero and if that's the case you wouldn't even need a variable you wouldn't need this variable next we have the bullet speed so local bullet speed and I'm going to set this to 150, right? This is definitely one of those things you can play around. See, you can mess around with it and see pretty much like if you want, if you want the speed to be faster, slower, whatever makes it more realistic or whatever, I guess your goal is, right? Then we have the max distance, local max distance, which is of course how far the player has to be like the range, I guess you could say, yeah, yeah, that's a better word, the range. So that, you know, like if the player is within, say, a certain area, then they are able to, you know, be shot, be shot pretty much. Because you obviously wouldn't want to turn to be able to shoot a player that's like all, across, all the way across the map. Right. So let's say, let's say 100 studs. We're going to set it to 100 studs. Right. Then we're going to get the barrel. So local barrel. Once again, barrel pretty much is the part where the bullet will be exiting out of. Right. So say barrel equals to script dot parent. Then of course I'm gonna get the bullet. So local bullet is equal to game dot server storage wait for child bullet. And we have got all the variables. Now we're gonna use a while loop. So let's say while wait, and we're gonna put rate. Because remember this is the firing rate. So pretty much every 0.5 seconds or half a second, um a bullet will fire if a player is within range. Right? So let's say while wait rate enter, right? <clears throat> then do we're going to create a target variable so local target is of course by default set to nil because we need to assign the variable a value later on in the script so we're going to use a for v impairs loop to get all the current players in the server so for i comma v impairs game dot players get children enter then we're going to say local character is equal to v dot oh character right that simple. We're gonna skip a few lines and we're gonna use an if statement, right? So pretty much we're gonna we're gonna say if there's a character as well as if the character's health is greater than zero, then we're gonna proceed. We're gonna assign um that player's like the the player's character, I should say, right? We're gonna assign it to the target value. 
because pretty much you wouldn't want a dead player to be set as the target because then the turn would just be shooting a dead player which you know that would really make sense you only wanted to shoot up players that are currently alive right so let's use two if statements we're going to first check of course if it's a character and if the character's health is greater than zero so character dot humanoid dot health is greater than zero right then enter then we're going to check to make sure that they are within range of the turret or turret i honestly i don't know why i call it turret and stuff honestly i didn't find out it was spelled turret till i started making this video i'm not even gonna hold y'all but anyway i'm gonna say if then parentheses we're gonna say character dot this will not autofill by the way so make sure you type this part right primary part oops, dot position minus bear my fault barrel dot position right and then we're going to go on the outside and say dot magnitude is less than max distance because if it's less than the max distance then that means the player is within range right then we are going to assign the target value or i mean the target variable we're going to assign it to the variable to of course the player's character because not only are they alive they're one alive they're also a character and they're within range these are what these are what these uh both these are what these two if statements are for pretty much then we are kind of done but we still got more left to do this is just assigning a target we need to actually you know deal damage you know fire the bullet so let's go i want to say like yeah like right here right let's skip a couple lines then we're gonna use another if statement we're gonna say if target then actually let's delete this yeah only need like one space so if target right then we're going to set the barrel c frame so barrel dot c frame because of course you know we want the turret to face the player to you know face the player it's shooting at right so barrel dot c frame is equal to c frame dot new barrel dot position comma target dot primary part dot position right pretty much the barrel will adjust its position to one be aligned with where the barrel currently is as well as um the direction that the the player is in right it'll kind of it pretty much will rotate itself to face that direction if that makes sense right then we're going to clone the bullet so let's do local bullet clone is equal to bullet clone first things first of course we're going to set the parent so bullet clone dot parent is equal to game dot workspace then we are going to set the position of course so let's go ahead and set its position bullet clone dot position is equal to barrel dot position because that's the starting position we wanted to start at where the barrel is and then end up hitting the player so or at least fire in the direction the player currently is in so then we're going to do barrel dot position right then we are going to set the bullet clone C frame because we wanted to make sure we want to make sure that the bullet is facing the you know the direction the player is in. Like pretty much how the barrel is rotating itself, we want the bullet to also rotate itself so it's coming straight at the player rather than like sideways. So let's say bullet clone. Let's say bullet clone dot C frame is equal to C frame dot new barrel dot position on the barrel that position times barrel that c frame look vector honestly very similar to what we to what we did right here right it's honestly very similar all we're doing is just getting we're just uh getting the look vector stuff like i said if you watched my how to make a gun tutorial the, all of this should really look very familiar so this should, it really shouldn't be that hard if you if you already watched my uh, previous gun tutorials but anyway, anyway moving on to the next line we're going to set the bullet velocity so because and that's why we made the bullet speed variable right so let's say bullet clone dot velocity is equal to barrel dot c frame dot look vector times i believe yeah times bullet speed that yeah okay okay good i believe i should have that right then of course the last thing we have we have to do is set up a function for when the bullet makes contact with a player so <clears throat> Let's say bullet clone, bullet clone dot touched connect function in parentheses put hit 
right? And then y'all already know, we gotta first make sure that there is a humanoid to make sure we're, you know, the bullet, like the bullets hitting a player, not just like, you know, a part or something. So <clears throat> local humanoid is equal to hit dot parent, my first child humanoid, right? Then we're gonna skip a few lines. We're gonna say if humanoid, then humanoid take damage, right? Then here's where you would take your damage. So bullet damage. And then boom, you'd put the value there. Now remember what I said. If you want your turret to like auto kill a player, instead of doing this, you would instead do humanoid dot health is equal to zero. You just set the health to equal to zero. If you just wanted it to just oh, didn't mean to do that. If you just wanted it to just you know auto kill a player but yeah then after we damage a player we want to destroy the bullet because we don't want the bullets to just be you know just on the ground <laughs> well unless you unless you want that but obviously you don't want to you know mess up performance so i'm going to destroy the bullet after it hits a player and then i'm also going to destroy it about 0.5 seconds yeah 0 0.5 seconds i'm gonna i'm gonna uh go for the firing rate so you could really put your rate here honestly you can put your rate here so wait rate then destroy bullet so pretty much if the bullet doesn't hit anything i mean not the bullet doesn't hit anything if the bullet doesn't hit a player it'll still be destroyed regardless and boom just like that guys we are done we can go ahead and test this to make sure everything is all good and let's see okay there we go as you guys can see it is firing honestly i feel like i should have um what's it called i really honestly feel like i should have uh should have made it. I should have got a sound. Yeah, yeah. I mean, y'all got a sound if y'all want. I should have got a sound. It would have, yeah, it would have been cool if it was like had a sound. But as you guys can see, it's rotating. If it hits me, it deals damage. And then the parts, the parts are. I mean, the bullet parts are being destroyed. As you guys can see, if they weren't, it'd be the worst place would be flooded with them. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for all the love and support you have been showing me. If you guys want access to this model or script or any of my other models and scripts, you guys can become a channel member by pressing the join button next to the subscribe button. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.